Batman and Mr. Freeze. Sub-Zero. One evening, Dick Grayson and Barbara Gordon were out enjoying a night of dining and dancing. Although the two friends occasionally dated, neither knew of each other's secret identity. Dick was actually Robin, daredevil partner to the master detective Batman. And Barbara was actually Batgirl, a lone crime fighter who sometimes helped Batman and Robin stop criminals. Suddenly, Someone screamed, and all the dancers turned in alarm. Barging through the doorway was the villain, Mr. Freeze, armed with his freeze gun. On either side of him stood a vicious polar bear. Mr. Freeze lunged towards Barbara and grabbed her arm. Dick tried to stop Freeze, tackling the cold criminal and slamming him to the floor. Just as quickly, a polar bear sent Dick flying with one swipe of its paw. Dick recovered to find Freeze dragging Barbara out through the door. Outside, Dick hopped on his motorcycle and took off after Mr. Freeze's getaway van. But Freeze fired his ice gun, covering the road with a sheet of slick ice. Dick's motorcycle spun out of control, and Mr. Freeze got away with Barbara. Mr. Freeze took Barbara to his icy hideout where a doctor named Gregory Belson was waiting. What am I doing here? Mr. Freeze's wife needs a total organ transplant. Dr. Belson was preparing for surgery. Since you both have the same rare blood type, we've decided that you will be the donor. Realizing that time was short, Barbara began to plot her escape. Meanwhile, Bruce Wayne, who is secretly Batman, arrived at Gotham General Hospital emergency room. He was there to see Dick, who had been injured in the chase. Dick, what's going on? Why would Freeze kidnap Barbara? When no one was watching, Bruce tapped into the hospital computer to try and find some clues. He quickly discovered that Barbara Gordon had a very rare blood type a blood type that was also shared by Nora Freeze. Mr. Freeze's wife. Soon, Bruce and Dick had put on their costumes and become the crime-fighting duo, Batman and Robin. The two heroes followed a trail of clues that led them to a rundown waterfront pier. There's nothing here but ocean. Batman scanned a computerized map. Look, there's an old oil derrick out there. That must be it. Meanwhile, on the oil derrick, Dr. Belson was ready to operate. Uh, Barbara struggled as he tried to anesthesize her. Leave me alone! She mustered all of her strength and kicked Freeze, escaping through the door. Belson grabbed a gun and bolted after her. Don't let her get away. Outside, the Batwing roared out of the clouds and headed down towards the oil derrick. Barbara's down there! Robin spotted Barbara and scrambled across the platform. Dr. Belson rushed after her, firing his gun. With Batman at the controls, the Batwing hovered over the platform. Then Robin positioned himself on a wing and jumped. Dr. Belson looked up to see Robin heading straight for him. Belson was knocked to the ground and his gun hit the platform and fired. Shots went wild, hitting the big oil tanks and igniting pools of spilled oil. The fire spread quickly. Batman set the Batwing down in the midst of the flames. He leaped to the platform as Robin struggled with the fire hose. Suddenly, Freeze's polar bears came thundering out of the darkness. Thinking fast, Batman and Robin used steel pipes to pull them right over the charging animals. The two bears disappeared over the edge of the platform and dropped into 
the ocean below. Batman and Robin were just about to turn their attentions back to rescuing Barbara when Mr. Freeze appeared. He fired his freeze gun, sending the two heroes diving for cover. Suddenly, another oil rig exploded, sending heavy scaffolding and debris crashing down on Mr. Freeze. No! Batman, Robin, and Barbara raced to free the villain from under the heavy steel girder. Let's get out of here! Not without Nora. Please, save her. Batman and Barbara hurried below to the operating room. And after a few minutes, they carried Mr. Freeze's wife up to the platform, where Robin was piloting the Batwing. With Nora, Barbara, and Belson safely aboard the aircraft, Batman went back for Mr. Freeze. But he was too late. There was another explosion, and Freeze was gone. Robin held the Batwing steady as Batman fired his background. The aircraft lifted up, with Batman hanging underneath. Below him, Batman thought he saw the two polar bears trying to hold a man afloat in the icy ocean. Could that be Freeze? He wondered. Today's top news stories come from Gotham City. Two weeks later, at Wayne Manor, Bruce and Dick were watching the news on television. A reporter was covering a story on Nora Freeze's successful organ transplant and her amazing recovery. And somewhere in the Arctic, a cold man and two polar bears were watching the same news broadcast. The man was smiling.